Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Joe, and we're going to take a look at one of my video game um, magazines. This is the Electronic Gaming Monthly uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Edition, and release date for this was holiday 2004. You can see the price of, well, for us here in Canada, it was $8.99, and this one features Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Um, this is going to be sort of a dry run through. Uh, I'm not sure. I couldn't find a really good way of displaying what's in here. So we're going to go handheld with this one and see how it goes. Um, so as I said, the main story is going to be Metal Gear Solid 3. And then as soon as you open the cover, what do you see? But a nice fold out of GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Uh, this is for the PlayStation uh a little bit on the PlayStation 2, as well as uh, GameCube and Xbox. Uh, a game I do have, though I have no interest in really playing it, so I'm not sure if I'll be keeping it. After GoldenEye 64, I sort of lost interest in uh, the James Bond franchise, even though I have many games that are Bond-related on PS2. Uh, next page, you can see it promoting Star Wars... Knights of the Old Republic 2, another game I was never really into, though I've heard good things about it. That's another thing with these magazines, as you'll see on, uh, especially, you know, ones like Electronic Gaming Monthly, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of advertising in there, especially for games, among other things, and sometimes the artwork is really fantastic. Uh, this is for Gran Turismo 4, a franchise I do like and do enjoy playing. A little bit of Lord of the Rings action here. This is uh, Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. A uh, huge fan of the books as well as the movies. And uh, the games are pretty decent too. It'd be nice if we can get, actually get into some actual content here. As I said, they have a lot of advertising. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick, uh, Escape from Butcher Bay. I enjoyed the first Riddick movie. I uh, haven't played the games. I can't imagine how good they are. Um, I don't think they're very good from what I've heard or from what lack of what I've heard. Finally, the table of contents. So you can see this was holiday issue, as I said, 2004. Um, GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Meet the residents, the creators of uh, Resident Evil games, celebrity interviews, nights. A lot of great content. Uh, some of the games, best review issue ever. So, and then obviously advertising for another game, Capcom Fighter Evolution for the PlayStation 2. Some more advertising here. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and that's for the Game Boy Advance. A franchise I do have, though I've never played them. I, I just don't have the time to invest in it. I think it's the fact that there's Disney characters in there that sort of throws me off. So next you see uh, Karaoke Revolution Volume 3, and then obviously, they, as they like to do back in the day, show a lot of kooky pictures of staff people what they're interested in a lot of filler letters to the editor what game is that big beautiful woman or oh, the attack of the 50 foot woman well, that's kind of cool if that was a real game advertisement for the DS it's always funny to go back and see some of these you know, I hated stuff like this with goofy photos that people sent in. Again, more letters here on the side. Illegal downloading. Don't do it, guys. Metroid Prime Echoes, a game I do have. This is GameCube, though I've never uh, played it. Sort of heard mixed things about it. Some advertising for the Tokyo Game Show in 2004. Um, 
what else have we got here? Dirge of Cerebrus. I have it. I've never played it. I don't know. I wasn't, uh, I think at that point I may have been Final fantasy out. Uh, and Vincent Valentine, I just, I guess he was sort of a cool character. Never really did much for me. Uh, Wanda and the Colossus, or better known as Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, excellent game if you haven't played this. I played it on the PS2, obviously, and there is a new remake for the PS4. I heard The Haunting Grounds was good. It's supposed to be scary. Never heard of Code Kajero, Sega Rally, meh. Super Monkey Ball, I can pass. Shining Force is supposed to be decent. Metal Wolf Chaos, don't know much about it. And Oz. Eh. Doesn't look too bad. More goofy pictures. You know what, as goofy as these pictures were, as a kid, I used to stare at them all the time. Splinter, sto uh, splinter, blah. splinter Cell. Game I never really got into myself. And speaking of one I never got into, uh, Crash. Bandicoot. Never cared for the franchise, the character. It's a little bit of a uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent. And again, as I said, by this point, I was pretty much done with the James Bond franchise. Uh, video game wise. Full Spectrum Warrior. I have this on the Xbox. Uh, I can't say I played it though. What is this? Looks like a Square Enix or uh, what is that? It's action RPG. Imagine a game based on the robot that Dark Cloud 2's hero had. That's another series I haven't played, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2, but I hear it's excellent. The Surgeon, this looks excellent. I do have a number of the um, the trauma games for, actually most of mine are on the Wii, which I don't really care for to play on, but I guess it's probably a good franchise. Uh, Resident Evil 4, one of my favorite Resident Evil games, right up there with Resident Evil 2. I don't know which one I like more, to be honest. Um, I will say though that Resident Evil 4 is the game that did uh, sort of save the franchise. I think a lot of people didn't like 3. I know I didn't. And 4 definitely brought me right back into it. And then 5 took me out of it again. Mech Assault 2, Lone Wolf. I do like mech games. Though, uh... That's kind of a stupid picture. I don't know. I don't get that one. A little bit of uh, Bam Margera, Celebrity Gamer. Ugh. Ghost Recon 2. Don't know if I play this. I think by this point, uh, you know, these games, the Ghost Recons and, and whatnot, got a little too fast-paced. I, I enjoyed the, the more slow action of the... Uh, the, the early war, like World War II sort of uh, mechanics and weaponry were a little more slow, a little more uh, controlled instead of doing more of, um, uh, you know, sort of just running around haphazardly shooting everything. Well, KOTOR 2, I have no idea what this is. Oh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't do it. Bard's Tale. This would be more along my lines. Especially if it's multiplayer. What if? 
Electronic Gaming Monthly, Ben Space and Time to Rewrite Gaming History. What if Nintendo teamed up with Microsoft to take on Sony? What if the PlayStation never existed? Now well, then, what if the business hadn't crashed? A lot of what ifs. What if Xbox never had Halo? I don't know if they'd be around. What if Nintendo had joined Sony in making the PlayStation? Obviously, uh, everyone knows that the uh, prototype of that just sold recently for 300000 I believe. Uh, what is this thing? Order away for stuff. Paper Mario. The game I do have, though I've never played it, and I've always wanted to. I think I mainly have that. I think I have that on the Wii. Some more goofy advertising. Sports games for the month. San Andreas. Excellent. But everyone knows that already. I like flying games. What's this? Ace Combat 5. I do have that. Um... Yeah, is that just PlayStation? I think it's just PlayStation then. I think I have most of these combats, except for the latest one, which is, I guess that's 7. But I think that originally came out on VR for the PS4. And again, we've gone into a whole bunch of the advertising, and obviously this is Metal Gear Solid 3, which is a fantastic game. Love it. Some more goofy advertising. The Frag Dolls. Oh. Intel. A little more of James Bond action here. What's that? Uh, PS2 Slim. It'd be cool to get a box for that. I don't have one for mine. Some more John Madden nonsense. Uh, I do have this one, though. I don't Baton Katos. That's a GameCube game. I know that. I never played it. The Hot 10. We shall cover these games coming up. Let's see what they got. Legend of Zelda. J. Nope. K.O.T.R. No. RE4. Yep. Final Fantasy 12. No. Nope. Nope. Mm, no. So really for me it just would have been... Uh, Legend of Zelda GameCube and Resident Evil 4 GameCube. Coming soon for the month of December. What is that? GT4. And Griffin, that would be interesting. Mario Party 6. I've never played the Mario Party games, even though I have, I think, all of them. A little bit of Prince of Persia. Yeah, the first one sort of turned me off of the series. Warrior Within. I don't know if uh, I don't know if people like that. I remember playing the original Prince of Persia on PC, PSP, a handheld that I still don't have, even though I've got a boatload of games for it. Release date 2005. Price $300. My goodness. The uh, DS boat, as I like to call it, because the thing is super thick. I guess we're going to get into a bunch of PS handheld games, PSP previews, Metal Gear Acid. WarioWare Inc. For the DS, Ridge Racer PSP, Super Mario 64 for the DS, 
Vampire Chronicle, what's that? Metroid Prime Hunters. Folded Arms. Who's that? The Means. Don't know that one. Field of Magic. Best of the rest. Maybe the Dynasty Warriors. It's a button masher. Ghost in the Shell. PSP lineup report card. The DS. We got better reviews. Jam the band. Nope. Advance Wars. Yeah, that'd be good to get. Puppy Times. No. Nope. Mario Kart. Mr. Driller. Spider Man 2. That'd be fun. I heard that was decent. All right. Oh, uh, anybody else miss Blockbuster? What, they, what prices do they got though in store? Jacks or Jack to garbage. Oh, I miss Blockbuster. And oh, of course, everyone's got to have their top 10 must give gifts. What do the celebrities want? Guess what? I don't care. Yeah. What does Carrie always want? This guy's trying to be cool. Hey, she's from Clueless, isn't she? So stupid. Mega Man Zero. <sighs> what do we got here? Whole lot of nonsense. All right, review crew. Need for Speed. Those games are fun. I finally got into them recently too. Oh, there's solid three. Oh, spoilers. Sorry. Gamefly. It's just the one where you rent the game and then they send it to you. Alien Hominid. How's that supposed to be decent? X Men Legends. That's another fun game. Good for a multiplayer. Beautiful Joe, too. I like the name. I have both. I've never played them. Uh, it's one I've been meaning to get around to do. Uh, I heard nothing but good things, at least from the first one. And looks like number two is pretty solid for those reviews. Bard's Tale, I heard that was excellent too. Fight Club, never tried it. I Am Jack's Crappy Game. All right. And look at the score on that one. 2.5. Fight Club. Jeez, who would have thought it would have sucked? Yeah, Lord of the Rings, what's this? Fellowship of the Boring, oh boy. Well, I guess they've certainly improved since. I've been meaning to pick up the latest one. Or no, do I have it already on the PS4? Shadow of Mordor, is that what it's called? Godzilla, Save the Earth, but I haven't tried... Uh, haven't tried the latest Lord of the Rings. Turtles. Battle Nexus. I think I have that. Uh, I can't say I've tried it, though. Sims in the City. Not my thing. Though I do like uh, city building games. Ape Escape. No. This one looks great. I love the flying ones. Eights across the board. All right, almost done here, guys. Just fasc fascinating always to go through and see these old pictures. A little bit of Metal Gear Solid 3. Let's pull out on that one. What's that? It's gold, baby.
Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, they did it right with this franchise. It's Kojima, baby. Oh, yeah, who was her? Uh, Eva, that's right. Yeah, she's a really good character in the game. Quan, don't know anything about it. Capcom fighting game. Ooh, bad ratings. Jack 3 can jump off a cliff. Neo Contra. Uh, I heard it was all right. What do you got? Eights. Yeah, I don't have it. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Buy it. Yeah, this was the one with, uh, shoot, I forget your character's name. CJ? Are you CJ? Ten and across the board, baby. Uh, Smackdown versus Raw. I think this was still when wrestling games were somewhat decent. Looks like you play four on or two on two. Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, up here or something, all right. Kill zone. Man, I thought that was kind of boring. Wasn't impressed by it. Now what's this? Grow Lancer Generations. Ooh, that looks good. Seven and eight. Okay. SNK versus Capcom. I do have that, but I've never played it. A little bit of uh, booty action. Halo 2. I tried to get into it. I really did. Just, uh, I think I waited too long to play the Halo games. There's more Halo. Outrun 2. That's a fun game. Didn't get good ratings, though. There's that Bat and Chaos Ketos. Metroid Prime 2. Meh. Mario Power Tennis. Actually, I do have that. Booty Soldier, Bate 2 Solar, that's what I meant to say. That looks good. What is that on? Game Boy Advance. Yeah, okay. Keep an eye out for that one. Uh, that's a franchise I do have, though I've never... Uh, the Dead or Alives? I never could figure it out, why they're all in swimsuits. Review archives. I guess games that they've passed scored and reviews on them. Let's see if we can. Uh... All right, here. What's this one? Katamari Damacy PS2. Be the ball. In this case, a sticky rolling blob. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. I agree. I did play that. Tricks of the trade. This is where they give you little hints, passwords that you can use for certain games. Uh, gamer scopes. This is uh, uh, what is your uh, astrology sign and your predictions for the month? A little crossword. Final word from your editor. And a little comic at the end. And I, Beautiful Joe, too, if you haven't done so. All right, that was kind of interesting. I always find it fascinating, especially going back this far. Uh, this magazine is obviously, uh, if my math is right, 16 years old. 
and uh, still pristine condition. I wish I had kept more of mine instead of uh, throwing them away. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. If you'd like to go have me go through more of my magazines. Uh, maybe we can do it in more detail next time, slow things down a lot. But uh, I thought I'd give this a nice uh, trial run. As always, uh, subscribe and leave me a comment, and I will see you guys again real soon. Thanks again for tuning in.